Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Today I want to talk about 17 year olds with Patek Philippe watches. What's my opinion? What's my verdict? Well, I think it's fucking ridiculous. Personally, the whole point of a Patek is that it's a piece for somebody who has experienced many watches. They've gone through ups and downs in life and then they've finally finally strived for a Patek Philippe and if someone achieves this or is given a Patek you know it, it just just completely um, it just completely misses the point I mean in my own case I went through the horological struggle I had an Amiga I got a, a Rolex a steel Rolex I then got a, a day date gold president Rolex I then um, had a various Cartier gold pieces. I then got a, a simple 3919 Calatrava Patek. It's a manual wind classic Patek. That was about uh, early 2000. And then, you know, I, I sold it for, for personal reasons. And I've had many pieces in the sin, ever, uh, ever since that time. And then I've... Um, I finally, a few wins came my way, and I bought the most beautiful Patek that I could, which is uh, my white gold Patek 5107. But when I when I hear questions from 17-year-olds who are asking me about a Patek and what do I think of it for them, well, it's kind of, you know, you've got to go through life. You can't just give wisdom to someone so young. You've got to, you've got to do the... Uh, you got to have the experiences in life, and um, I mean, look, I think you know if you're a 17-year-old kid, an Amiga Speedmaster is a great watch to have. You know, it's also it's a more sporting type watch. A Patek is more of a it's more of a um, middle-aged person's watch. You know, you've got to be at least 30 to pull off a Patek, in my opinion. And uh, I mean, look. That's not saying that, you know, you can't do it. I mean, if you're given one, that's fine. Wear it with discretion. But I'm just saying, you know, I think you really have to go through life, enjoy some brands to really appreciate what a Patek Philippe is. And when I see 17-year-olds who have this much money in that, they've really lost the plot. And it's the struggle. It's not necessarily the uh, arriving at the destination. It's the journey that is what having a Patek is all about. And I mean, a Patek is too too expensive to be super cool. It's not a cool piece. It's it's a gorgeous piece. It's a great piece. But it's it's not a cool watch. A cool watch is young, for a young person, it's inexpensive. You know, it's sort of, you know, many cool watches just have shitty ETA movements. But they're cool because they're young and, and they're made for a different demographic. Whereas a Patek is something for someone who's mature, They've tasted many pies, and they've finally they've arrived with the Patek, and and that's that's the whole thing. If a young little sniveling little shit has a Patek, you know, I just think what a spoilt little prick. That's all I think personally. And I mean, I'm not trying to discourage people from getting a Patek. By all means, power to you all if you get a Patek. But you've got to go through life's journey. Life's journey, and this is the whole thing. A Patek is something you appreciate with the with the gaining of knowledge and time and I mean you, a Patek is for somebody who's had some huge career ups and downs they've been fired from a job they've, uh, they, they've, they've been accolated as being very smart and clever you know it, it, it's not just something you just buy the Patek the Patek won't make you great it's, it's, uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the knowledge that you've picked up all, along the way that makes you uh, it gives you character and makes you what you are and uh, look, I think if you're a young person, by all means, get a beautiful steel Rolex. Get a Amiga Speedmaster. But look, if you're 17 years old, a Patek really, really, it's something for you to savour later in life. And uh, I mean, all I see, if I see a young, 
young kid with a Patek on, I just think, Daddy's bought it for him. You know, that's all it says. And to be honest with you, it's more rewarding to have actually saved and um, bought the watch on your own means without somebody just giving you the piece. And uh, that's my own view. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think. And please, keep the comments coming. And uh, if you disagree, please post comments on this forum here and let me know why you think I'm wrong. I'm Archie Luxury. <laughs>